Caesar makes a surprise attack. They're moving. They're armed with long spears. You're not worried about your scouts at all, are you? Yeah, we should move our scouts. We've got uh, Caesar's army on the move now. They're coming out to attack their scouts, which they'd left very far forward. Oh, they've got our scouts. That doesn't look good, does it? No. Absolutely got the initiative of surprise. That really took them on the hop. The scouting party is wiped out. The attack prevents the team from finding out about Caesar's compromised flank, and it's given them a taste of what's coming. Okay, do you want to all come back up? With Caesar on the offensive, the team must now formulate a battle plan. They have two basic options. To fight an offensive battle, concentrating on Caesar's weak left flank, or to fight defensively and use their numbers to advantage. What are you going to do? What's your battle plan? Okay. Uh, well, we've got, we've got the advantage of having archers. They haven't got any, like, that, so we need to utilise them. And then, um... We need the legions at the front, because they've got the most, uh, hardware, really, haven't they? So basically, these, we, need, we, need to bring, we need to bring these legions into more of a, like a, a, a position up here. Yeah. And I think maybe like if we, if we pulled our, our holsters so Cavalry they, they can maybe come around and, and then swoop through once the, the main archers. attack's over. And then basically have the archers, the archers? archers on top of a hill firing yeah. down. So whether it's over here or over there. Listen. You can see what they're doing with their cavalry. They just, they've got defensive points on the side, haven't they? Because they've got the river to that side. Yeah. Mm. Tristan has correctly identified the defensive potential of the river, an insight that should give the team a clue about how best to fight this battle. For Caesar, the key bit of the battle is the right. That's good for him, it's where the commander traditionally was in classical warfare, towards the front on the right. And what it means for Pompey is that Pompey has got to put his main strength and position himself as the commander on his left, the side away from the river. Both Caesar and Pompey want to wrap around the landward side of the enemy. Basically, we're going to, we're going to think about um, whenever we're going to, if we're going to attack something with there, we won't have more numbers than they do, so we're not going to send one on one because they're more experienced. So we want to send three onto one or whatever. Concentrating strength against enemy weakness, I like that. Yeah. What Ollie's pointing out is that they can try to achieve a local advantage. Overall, they have a numerical advantage, but really, you want in classical military theory, you want a three to one advantage uh, to defend. You want a six to one advantage to attack, but all it has to be is a local advantage. If they're coming this way to attack us, they're going to be coming uphill, and we're going to be going downhill. And yeah. that is better to be going downhill. Yeah, let's get those moved. You want the battle to come to you? Are you waiting to be attacked? Um, well, that would be better because we've got a more defensive position. There's no point in giving this up. So you're going to wait to be attacked? Yeah, I think we should. What do you think? What we could do is... We're on top of a hill. They've got to run up a hill. It's always better to be going down. One of the most interesting things about this is that it is Roman versus Roman. You've got legionary forces against legionary forces, and it's absolutely a poker game. Who's going to lose their nerve first and lose the initiative? Because both forces work better if they're holding ground. If we look at the fact that this is like a no-go, a no-go is not really not going to come past the river, I don't think. Let's let's start off by putting the archers into into a position where they can put some good fire down, so like around this kind of area here, or maybe on top of this bit, on top of I, this hill I here. Think on top of the hill. So if we if we have archers there, and and legions, and, and if we have if we have le we have legions in front of them, so once they once they've gone in, they can and then, they, then they, yeah. can, they can pile in afterwards, and um, and like support it. I think every whatever attack we're going to do, if we have it supported by cavalry, so once yeah. that line fight is over, the bad boys can come in. One of the interesting things is the way they've um, lined them up there. They've used the blocks longitudinally, which actually is quite important because it's showing that Pompey did actually have that extra depth. He had them so he could put more depth into. He was going ten deep with his cohorts. Let's put it into two in that way. So yeah, we have so a fighting force here and a fighting force here. What do you reckon to that? With that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just to be clear, are you still got to wait for them to come to you. I think we should. I'm still not convinced by that. Why? What, what's your? What do you think? I, I think I, I think they're in a position where they're wanting us to attack them. They haven't got many horses. A lot of men on foot. Yeah. If the battle goes down to this area here, then it's, it, Free for as all. far as ground's concerned, it's even ground. Let's put them in a position as if we're going to be defensive. Ollie has taken full control of the battle plan. He maps out a defensive position based on where he assumes Caesar will attack. 
and he's dividing their forces into two parts. A risky proposition for an army that should concentrate its strength. All right, um, you're not unanimous on the battle plan, but there's certainly a majority. And anyway, this is an army, so the generals are going to be in charge. Just tell us once more what the plan is. Okay, the plan is um, we've got two two main areas of defence. Uh, th th this is the this is the uh, east side massive. This is the west side, and, uh, and basically we're going to wait for them to come to us, and uh, and we're going to have the archers on the hill do what they can, and then take take, take sending the heavy boys, taking the heavy yeah. the heavy boys, okay. and follow, the follow them by the back with the uh, cavalry. He's going to do the the sword and shield. He's going to use his infantry to hold Caesar in place and then wham out of nowhere is going to come that massive cavalry fix and strike great plan but can they wait generals stand by okay lieutenants you know where your positions are going to be yeah. get ready to deploy your troops on you go in moments a team of university graduates using the technology of a 21st century war room will attempt to rout the army of Julius Caesar in the decisive battle of the Roman Civil War. They're in charge of the forces of Pompey the Great, proconsul of Rome and Caesar's sworn enemy. So far, the team's reconnaissance missions have missed some key clues. They've overlooked the tactical significance of the river for flank protection. And they haven't realized the importance of concentrating the strength of their fighting cohorts. Sloppy scouting also failed to identify the vulnerable left flank of Caesar's army. But Caesar has done his homework. He knows that the team's units are inexperienced and soft targets if they lose their formation. And he's keenly aware of the importance of seizing the initiative in this battle. He's already attacked the team's scouts, an aggressive move against an army twice the size of his own. But Caesar is a man intent on victory here at Pharsalus and regime change in Rome. The team will divide their army into two parts and spread out the heavy foot along the hilltop. They don't know that dividing their force is dangerous, but they hope that holding the high ground and forcing Caesar to fight uphill on two fronts will win them the battle. They plan to use infantry to pin down Caesar's forces and cavalry to finish them off. The plan is simple, but needs clear control, decisive deployment, and calm command. Okay, Tristan, you've got the cavalry. Do you want to take them, take them over to that, that, you see that one. second hill? How many do you want? Two? Two take over. Yeah. One of the key things they're going to have to remember in this battle is, initially, the trick now is to come down off that hill in good order and set up in good order. Absolutely. Because if they actually start playing the deployments, they just might go a little bit out of order. These will come ahead. If Caesar sees Pompey coming down in poor order, then it's an opportunity for Caesar. Yeah, take two of the cavalry. Okay, and Becky. Yeah. At the same time, if you want to start, if you want to start taking the um, your infantry guys over to the right hand side. Yeah, can we take the infantry? The original battle plan entailed staying on the highest ground, but deployment is taking Pompey's blue army further down the hill. Has Ollie hatched a new plan, or just forgotten the old one? Okay, and Tristan, at the same time, you take your if you take your archers over there as well, because they'll take longer to get there. Yeah. Ollie has taken over as supreme leader of the forces. Ruth has been made to take a back seat in decision making. And the lieutenants are struggling to get Ollie to understand which troops they control. Look where the cavalry are now, yeah. on, on the left. Okay, yeah. That's going to be the middle point of our, of our defense. Okay. okay. So if you have the slingshot there, and Tristan, is that the cavalry going over there at the moment, and the archers? Yeah. If you stop, if you stop them halfway through that hill, because if we go further on, then we're going to be too spread out. From the battlefield, Caesar's army watches the chaotic deployment of the team's army. Caesar is a leader known for taking the initiative. The temptation to attack these Republican forces and win the Civil War must be overwhelming. Becky? Yeah. Can we see what... See your back, you see your back five here? Yeah. If you bring the... If, you're, if, if you bring the...